all right so this is another requested video on how I sew faster and it's really about my sewing technique and what I want to start off with is showing you what my setup is I have everything that I need laid out I have my weaving cap on my foam head and as you will see the type of wig cap that I use is like the mesh weaving cap for wig making and I have my needles, my thread. The thread that I use is actually a nylon thread. Well, a cotton thread. You can use a nylon thread, which might feel a lot better to use. And then I have about 13 needles already threaded. Um, I'll have a link in the description box as to where you can get this many needles just to get you started but you want to have them already pre-threaded and you might need 20 of them instead of 13 but this is what my entire setup looks like now before you get started you want to make sure you know which closure you're going to be using if you're going to be using a lace closure a silk base closure you want to put those closures on first but if you're going to be using a circular closure you want to put the cap on find the center of your head or where you want it placed and then apply or install that last now this is my sewing technique and when I start off I always go through the track first on the edge of the caps I never go through the track once I start sewing I always go around or under the track making sure the thread is at the bottom of the needle and I pull it through and I continue to sew in that pattern or in that um, consistency and this um, sewing technique is called a blanket stitch and in a second you should see the diagram of what that blanket stitch looks like and how the pattern or the consistency of sewing is done what you want to do is just pull your thread in the direction that you are sewing go underneath the track making sure your needle sits above the thread pull it through and it creates this beautiful loop neat looking loop over the top of your tracks which makes uh, sure that the tracks are very close to the weaving cap so that you don't have any bulkiness or sticking out once I get to the end I always fold my tracks I do not cut my tracks unless I'm gluing the hair and I do go through the uh, track about a couple of times at the end and then I fold it over and I go through the track and the weaving cap a couple of times until it's knotted really good and that that edge is sitting very nice and flat and flush um, the fold needs to be nice and perfect you don't want your um, your fold to look uh, bulky on the ends now once the folded edge is done very nice and neat I just continue in the same pattern pulling the thread over in the direction that I'm going to sew under the track on top of the thread and pull through and there's your knot now this part is for those of you who are left-handed I am NOT a fast sewer on my left side but I thought it would be a good idea to just show you what it looks like to actually sew using your left hand if you are a left hand lead same thing pull the thread in the direction that you're sewing under the track on top of the thread pull through and there's your blanket stitch loop So there it is guys that is my sewing technique that helps me to sew a lot faster this wig was already done I've done a video collab with this um, wig so this is the finished product of it you can check that video out make sure you get a chance to do well to see the video on how I made a circular closure and installed it I do have a wig making 101 playlist with tons of videos go and check that out all the links are in the description box and I'll see you in the next video